In this video, we're going to take things one step further. In the last video, I showed you how to use Dragon to insert a command in Describe, which could then be executed. In this case, we're going to use a combination command. I'm going to use a command that I have created in Dragon, and it is called Negative History. I'm going to show you the command first, which you can see in the Dragon command browser. And remember, you can access that either by going to the Tools menu selecting tools and opening command browser or if you have dragon on you can just tell dragon to open it by doing the following open command browser I have now turned dragon back off by giving that command open command browser dragon will open the command browser automatically which may be a little bit faster way to do it here I have some of my user defined dragon commands and I have one that I created called negative history. When we look at this, the name of it is negative history. This is what I will say to have Dragon insert the text. And this is the text that it's going to add, which I've added right here. And now I will show you how that works. I'm back here in my progress note and scribe window, and I will use Dragon to insert this. Negative history. Now I've turned Dragon back off. When I said negative history, Dragon inserted this command, which includes a command to import all history like we saw in the last video, a command to verify all the history components, and then it gave me some blank sections here, including HPI. Notice under medical history and several of the uh, other sections, I have none written there. The reason I've done that is this will rapidly add basically a negative history to a patient. This could be one that's very useful if it's a new patient who's young and otherwise healthy and I'm seeing them for the first time. If some of this was not accurate, I could simply remove it. For example, if under surgical history they had actually had a surgery, I can just click on here, remove the surgery, and then I can add whatever they had had done. Laparoscopic appendectomy. I just inserted that with Dragon. I can say something about their smoking history here. The patient is a non-smoker. Back in the HPI section, I can add whatever free text I would like using Dragon. The patient is here to discuss some injuries that they sustained a couple of days ago, period. However, comma, they appear to have healed very rapidly, period. I can even scroll down and put something in the ROS notes section. The patient denies fevers, comma, chills, comma, headache, comma, or visual complaints, period. Each of these I'm inserting with Dragon Naturally Speaking. Now you can see that the scribe window is quite full and has a lot of different things going on in it. Before we execute the command, notice that the note is pretty empty. There's a couple of things in it left over from prior videos that I've done, but we're going to click Scribe It. And now I'm going to open the progress note so we can see it fully. Here you can see the HPI discussion I inserted with Dragon. Here it added none to their medical history. Now that might not be completely accurate because this person already had hypertension, but it illustrates the point. It added laparoscopic appendectomy. It added none, although again, not accurate for this fake patient. In the family history, it marked it non-contributory. It pulled forward all the tobacco history and added that the patient is a non-smoker. All of these other sections are parts of the social history that were previously existing and I just needed to pull it into the note quickly. Here in the review of systems is the notes section that I added this comment. Notice also that there was a command in scribe to verify the history. So if you look, you can see that the checkbox is checked here in history, on medical history, on allergies, surgical and hospitalization history, family history, and social history. So in one simple command, I was able to accomplish all of that. I also have one other custom dragon command that I've created and I have named it brief history. This is one that I often use for a patient who already has some history and I don't want to add none into all of their history like I did in the last one. 
It's called brief history, so I will tell Dragon to insert it. Brief history. That now adds the same commands to import all the history, verify all the history, and then it gives me a skeleton note. HPI, all the history sections, down to review system notes. Notice that there's nothing written after any of them. So I can simply click in the HPI, dictate my commentary. Perhaps I have a social history item to add or a review systems item to add. If I don't have anything to add in the other history components, I can just leave them here and hit the scribe it button and they will not insert anything. This is a process that I use to quickly dictate several sections of an existing patient. Both of these scribe and dragon commands that I've demonstrated were both used, or both created using dragon, naturally speaking, custom command to create this list. This is basically a free text paragraph from my dragon command formatted with just the scribe commands that I wanted to have. In the next video, I'm going to show one other demonstration of a more complex dragon command.